This video is sponsored by Squarespace. It's a bit of a rant about commitments that I think you should make to yourself, but really, if we're being honest, commitments that I need to make to myself. As an entrepreneur, freelancer, someone in the creator economy in 2023 who's just, just getting it done like you are. Actively building passive income. You must, you just must be doing it. It's too insane not to be doing it. Whether it's a YouTube channel, whether you're blogging, uh, using AdSense that way. There's a bunch of videos on AI and like how you can get them to do passive income. Affiliate links that have a recurring monthly system as opposed to just a one-time thing. Whatever it is, you have the skill set necessary to be creating some sort of passive income and you need to be doing it. Cody, we already know, like we already know that we should be doing that. It's like, yeah. It's me too, man. But like, why am I not doing it more? Just do it. Sorry, I hurt my chest this morning in the workout. Um, we'll get to that. Number nine, there's just so much information out there that like analysis paralysis is easier than ever. It's so easy to be like, I need to read these 1374 books and then also all these blogs and also watch this video and also buy this course. It's like, Pick your things that you're gonna focus on and just start taking action. Start planning, start, not planning, not planning. Start taking steps. No more planning, all right? Don't get me wrong, get a, get a solid plan in place. At that point, it's, it's time to move and then you can iterate and adjust as you go. I just, I'm getting sick and tired of like, yeah, this is what I should do. It's like, yeah, you should have done it n now for a year and a half, like start. I, just, I feel like everybody is so afraid of making a mistake, going in a slightly wrong direction and wasting time. And like, if I would have just done it slightly more efficiently, like, yeah, that's true. That's all true. I, I, I wish you all of the efficiency in the world, but imperfect action is just so much more effective than inaction. And you have to remember that, that you're gonna iterate on it. You're gonna realize the stuff that you're doing slightly wrong and you're gonna make those course corrections over time. But you gotta get moving now so that you can start to steer the ship. It's like a jet ski. Do you ever ride a jet ski? You can only steer them when they're going forward. It's crazy. Like you like you're, you, you get freaked out. You're like, no, I gotta go this way. You actually have to move forward in order to get it to turn the way you want it to turn. All right, it freaked me out when it happened, but it's kind of a cool life thing. Number eight has to do with competitiveness. Don't get me wrong, I'm extremely competitive. I love competition. It makes stuff fun, right? But you have to stop sitting around brooding on if people are out here to steal your clients and your ideas and all your stuff like there's not there's just not competition i mean there is but there's not competition that you have to worry about within the creator economy okay there's so much out there for everybody there's there's the pie is so massive in my life i've found that cheering on my competitors has given me much more than when I just sat thinking about how do I take business back from them. That's even in traditional business. Once you start making videos, once you start being able to serve like internationally, it really becomes a very, very moot point. So forget about competition, cheer on those people, just take action, just dominate, okay? Just dominate. Seven, I've been seeing this a lot, so maybe the algorithm is just like reading my brain. Time and time again, you hear extremely successful people saying, I wish I would have dreamed bigger from the get-go. I wish I would have set bigger goals. I just really resonate with that. That's something that like, I can't sort of tell you from experience on the other side. I feel like most of my goals were pretty big from the get-go and like I haven't even attained many of them yet, so. It's hard to kind of imagine how big your goals should be, I think, but, but if you set your sights high enough, you're gonna give your brain, your reticular activating system, the information it needs to actually take action steps that get you further to where you wanna go. Gary Vee talks about this all the time. I've been really getting back into Gary Vee. He's like, he's, he's calmed down a little bit and gotten like very real. Has anyone noticed? The realness of Gary, not that he was ever inauthentic, but like there's a different vibe to Gary right now. So if you if you wrote him off a while ago, maybe check out some of his stuff again, because uh, dude's crushing it. Number six, very simple. You gotta ask for help, Cody, more. You gotta ask for more help when you need help. Amber's been really trying to, to, to drill this into my brain, um, which is weird, because I'm not a person who, I'd never thought of myself as a person who was like afraid to ask for help, but I guess I've become 
more like that as I've gotten older. So maybe I need to dive into that in therapy. Not sure, but ask for help when you need it. Try as hard as you can to get into a group of people who you're all willing to synergistically help each other or build a team, build a company, um, and fill in the gaps and, and have people who can help you do the stuff that you're not great at. Something that I'm not great at is coding websites. And that's where the sponsor of today's video comes in, Squarespace. You don't need to know how to code. They got professional templates that make you look freaking fantastic on the internet. Exactly what you need to put your best foot forward with your potential clients. Do anything you need to do. Schedule appointments, build a portfolio, start a blog, email marketing, list building. Build a store right in your Squarespace site. Squarespace is your one-stop shop for building a website right online. If you wanna try it out, go to squarespace.com slash Cody Warner, and then when you're ready to buy, use the code Cody Warner to get 10% off your first purchase. Number five, home stretch, baby. You ready? You ready for this? Document the process, even if you're not posting it anywhere. Even if you're just putting the stuff in Google Photos, just the practice of turning the camera on and recording yourself gets you into a different gear. It gets you into a different level. Document the process. Talking to the camera, journaling to the camera, but also recording yourself doing what you're actually doing as you're building. I'm telling you, even if you're time lapsing it, 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 it puts you into a different mental state. Document the process. You guys like this like cozy box that I'm saying? I love these things. It makes you feel very safe and secure. Four, you've heard this before, but just a quick reminder, you gotta be generous, okay? Be generous. It's easy to just put your goals in front of everything else and be like, yeah, well, my, these are my goals. And there's a time, there's a time and place for that. Like, your goals are very important. And I've talked before about make your goals such that when you hit them, you are being generous. You are helping people by the very nature of accomplishing your goals. That's all well and good, but don't forget to be kind, be generous, put yourself out there, wear your heart on your sleeve, and, and just try to help. I find so much value in just being a helpful person, and, and it, like so often that has just paid off. Be generous. Number three, science-based. Employ the power of your reticular activating system. All that means is when you think about things, you're more likely to see those things out in the world. Confirmation bias, it's pattern recognition. If you're thinking about opportunities, if you're thinking about the stuff that you wanna see in your life, you're gonna end up seeing the opportunities for that stuff to come into your life easier than if you're thinking about all the stuff you're afraid about and everything you worry about and, and everything you don't wanna happen, you're gonna see those things beginning to happen more just because you're noticing them. Put your brain to work for you and make it a daily practice, hourly if possible, to think about the stuff that makes you happy, the stuff that brings you joy, the stuff that will make you successful as you continue to grow. Think about that stuff so that you start to see that stuff out in the wild and you can grab it and take those opportunities when they come. I got hyped about that one. RES is just like, it's something that I found out from Mel Robbins a while ago in an Instagram post, and I've seen it more and more, as you do when you see something, then you start to see it out in the world. And, and fittingly, that happened to me with reticular activating system. Yeah, just employ it. Number two, I, I am lucky because I'm addicted to this. Work out with friends, if possible, in the morning, first thing. This is a big ADHD thing for me. It's a way that I manage some of my symptoms and it sets me up for a day that is more full of focus and less full of ADHD symptoms than when I don't work out. I don't work out on Wednesdays, in case you ever wonder why I'm like that on Wednesdays. <laughs> Yeah, work out, even if it's just like a brisk walk. You know, it doesn't have to be insane. But for me, the more insane it is, the more fun it is. And like, the more competitive it is, the more fun it is. So if there's a score involved, or at least if you're able to try to like beat yourself in the past, that, that's, that really works well for me. I'm sure a lot of you don't have ADHD, but the long-term benefits of working out have been proven by scientists, whereas the rest of my advice has no basis more reliable than my own meandering experience. I have been expensing that advice in this video. That's the sunscreen song. You guys know that one? I love it. You should listen to that. Enjoy the power and beauty of your youth. Oh, never mind. So, it's so good. You gotta, you gotta listen to it. Number one, and forgive me for a bit of a paradox here, but do it your way, all right? I've heard it said, 
people, you know, people say should this, should that, they should all over themselves. <laughs> You really do need to do it your own way. Again, there's so much information out there that it's like, oh, they're like, I can't make any mistakes because someone else has made the mistakes. I got to learn from their mistakes so I don't have to make the mistakes. And there's some, t there's some mistakes that you just got to make yourself. You got to do it your own way. And, and you bring a certain amount of magic that has never been brought to the world before when you just, when you just are yourself, when you accept who you are for who you are and like... That's what I want for you. All right, let's get out there and get this thing. 2023, let's hit it.